In Morocco, protests continue over the arrest of uh, a leading activist responsible for organizing months of anti-corruption demonstrations. Protesters in the city of Casablanca got into a brawl with plainclothes officers in front of the National Police Judicial Division headquarters. The fight broke out following an argument over the detention of Nasser Zafzafi and dozens of his fellow activists. Zafzafi was taken into custody on Monday and prosecutors say will be put on trial for threatening national security. His arrest sparked protests in several cities with sympathizers chanting, We are all Zafzafi. Morocco has been gripped by rally since October when police killed a fishmonger in the town of Asaima. Political analyst Robert Timakis joins us now from Sydney. So welcome to the program. Are we looking at the start of possibly something much bigger that could affect the region? Well, we have to look at what's happened in the country surrounding it and what would be good for the West. The expansion of the Muslim Brotherhood uh, through an uprising, a mass uprising, and overthrow of the government in Morocco would be very much into the interests of the West. We've seen it happen in countries surrounding, and all together it has really worked in order to uh, put the West in the position it wants to be in order to follow the philosophy set out by PNAC um, and the Chilcot Report for the aims of the Israeli lobby. We've seen country after country being overturned, and we really had to ask where the funding for these protest campaigns are coming from. A lot of them are very well organized. A lot of them have a lot of money behind it. So where exactly is the money coming from? And we've got to look at the context uh, to which it's being sent into as well. Potentially, this could uh, result to something much bigger. But we're just going to have to look uh, at it closely, watch it, and see how it pans out. But it definitely would. Uh, be in the interests of the West to back something like this and have the control of the entire region just a little bit more. Thank you, sir. Political analyst Robert Unlock is showing us from Sydney.